Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz, and I'd like to welcome you back to Paper Mario, the Origami King. Previously, we crash landed in the Whispering Wood, and we discovered Old Man Grand Sappy, and it turns out he needs a little something called a Soul Seed to put a little pep in his step, and we're going to do him a favor and uh, get it for him. Otherwise, we're not leaving this forest, so it seems pretty clear cut what we need to do here. No pun intended. Yeah, I think I might actually have the seed. I see a kind of golden fruit dangling from my cousin's neck a while back. Uh, it's too flashy if you ask me, but does anyone ask me? <laughs> nope. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll go now. We removed the curse, but don't come back without that seed. Fair enough. So, if we decide to do a little bit of backtracking, uh, nearly every single tree that we interacted with before will have dialogue. Uh, this is the Whispering Woods. Pay your respects to old Grand Sappy. Okay, I guess I could do that. What about you? Psst, my neighbor thinks she's a branch manager ever since she got that golden fruit. Well, we already picked it up, so we don't have to worry too much about it. They don't seem to mind getting hit either. Did you collect the seed? I do hope it helps old Grand Sappy. Oh, so that's the golden seed they were talking about. Huh. Cute. Good, good to know. Are you here to help old Grand Sappy? Yeah, some of these guys will actually have some pretty vanilla text, but um, there is one that I'd like to talk to in particular. We were trying to scare you, but that's just old, just one old Grand Sap safe. Gotcha. Are you gonna tell me how to get to the water? Isn't our spring amazing? You can throw any old thing in it and it'll come out fully energized. Just don't throw in a battery, because it's bad for the environment. Yeah. Itchy leaves. So, yeah, I'm not gonna talk to every single one of these people. Well, uh, these trees. But um, we'll go we'll go backtrack a little bit. You can actually replay that memory game in case you missed the treasure up there. But it's not entirely necessary unless you want to collect them. Yeah, it used to be an old Grand Sappy's band. Well, technically, I opened for them. A door, to be precise. Oh, so you used to be a door. Interesting. Yeah, I see the mustache and the hat and the overalls. It's all a bit extra, if you ask me. I do not disagree there, my friend. So, depending on what point in this mission that you talk to one specific tree, uh, it'll actually have some interesting dialogue, but of overall, it's just not a whole lot of things beyond this point. But, yeah, we'll come talk to you a little bit later. It's rare to see a paper person with your unique characteristics. Do I have to spell it out? I'm talking about your hat. Well, doesn't it just complete the whole outfit, the whole entourage of clothes I'm wearing right now? <laughs> so, yeah, in case, I, I kind of just wanted to double check to see if we had missed anything, but nope. Uh, another thing that's kind of neat is like the almost falling animation that Mario gets. I don't know why he's not staying in it, but it's just kind of cute. I don't know. You don't see that animation enough, and it's something that I can certainly appreciate, but um, I think that's pretty much everything up to this point. So, let's head back to old Grand Sappy's pad. And uh, let's take the other the other path out, because that will surely lead us to the spring, and hopefully some combat. Can't believe I'm saying that in a modern day Paper Mario game, but combat is what I'm craving at the moment. And if that first battle was any indication of things to come, or I missed a spin, I'm just looking forward to all those dropped inputs, then, uh, you know, that couldn't come any sooner. Mustache alert. Uh-oh. What? I don't know what I want. I'm sorry. Let me just save. Can you guys not, like, harass me while I'm trying to save your <laughs> your dear fatherly lord? Seems healthy enough. Yeah, same. I am healthy. Thank you. So, yeah, hit the flowers if you need a little bit extra. But watch out because... Oh, hi, guys. It's a wave battle. All right. So prepare for the second wave of tutorials because they just don't stop. Yeah, it has been a while. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, all right. Well, you're going to test me. I see. All right. Well, I'm not three years old. All right. Yep, we're going to line them up. I know. I know. This is excessive. I, I think that is a pretty general consensus. You don't need to tell me what to do. But there we go. All right. Nice work. You can do this every time. You'll be good to go. Yes. So with boots, we can go down a straight line. And uh, he's going to tell us about our timed commands. So, yep, yep, I know. You are literally redoing the text. So, action commands. Yep, and a prompt's gonna come up. Uh, don't worry, because the prompt does not stick around, but it's like, ooh, ooh, and there we go. Glad I can still do this with uh, some lag. 
All right, perfectly lined up jump attack is so satisfying. You can land multiple action commands. Uh, we'll take out everyone in no time. So of course, the last wave is going to test our hammer ability. All right, so we're, oh, tricky, tricky. So we'll go ahead and select and not screw up this time because they're literally in the exact same spot as before. Yep, I know what to do. Grab, 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 boom. All right, you're such a pro. All right, cool. Well, thank you for letting me know. Let's go ahead and uh, hopefully get an incredible technique. Yep, yep, I get it. I get it. Thank you, Olivia. Thank you. <laughs> oh, man. It's pretty bad, right? There we go. Excellent. Nice. And every single time, Olivia's gonna be like, almost, so close, perfect, almost, so close. It's it's almost, like, demeaning. Like, even Mario's pissed at her. Just like, listen, I've been doing this for six games. I think I know what I'm doing. Look, he's got even his fist in a ball. Look at that. Look at that, 536. Oh, this is obscene. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is great. Taking out those full soldiers released a ton of confetti. We can use as much as we find with all the terrible holes around here. Ah, oh, what a great deal. We can rid of an enemy and get confetti to boot. And that is a lot. So, uh, it's probably not at this point where I'm going to start cutting battles, but eh, we might get there sooner than later. We don't need to show every single one, you know? So we'll grab all these. It's going to be fun times. And boom and done. Hooray, confetti for everyone. Thank you. I appreciate it. So... Oh, hi. Oh, press X. Wait, somebody just fell. I'm not ready. Oh, thank you for calling on me. It's my first hint. Wait, no, it's not. The spring. Didn't we see some old wrinkly stuff? Wait, why? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So you can get preemptive strikes, but of course, Olivia had to stop me in my tracks. So, um, it's almost kind of useless to get a preemptive strike if you're just going to line everyone up anyways. And are you kidding me? You're actually, I, I forgot about this part. So because there are now two rings that need to be lined up, um, yeah, our adventure has been crumpled. We have two ring moves now to accommodate for that. But Mario is so angry. That is the entire general population of the people playing this game. The demographic of Paper Mario Origami King is, <laughs> is just Mario's expression right now. All right, so you're not gonna tell us how to move it. That's fine, because I can do it on my own. There we go. So it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't know what else there is to say about it, but let's do the jumps. Boom, jump, and jump, and jump. Nice. Yeah, the timing is literally just color splash, so. Yeah, you guys are not gonna hear the end of me saying that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for you guys to <laughs> be at the receiving end of this conversation. Okay. So, how did you feel about having a Goomba soldier in your leaves? Yeah, no kidding. Is that what it feels like when you walk into a spider web? Oof. Oh, take these and we'll call it even. Oh, thank you. How many coins is that? That's like a, a hundred. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, yeah, sometimes they'll be hiding in the bushes too, which is real annoying. So if you defeat one of those folded creatures, it turns into confetti. That information could really save a lot of trees. Yep, here I go. Wasting even more trees. There we go. Give me some of those. Oh, hi. All right, so we go ahead and do a preemptive strike. It does damage to one, one of the enemies, and it's not even enough to kill him. So now we've got one of these. That actually was not too bad. So one ring move, we'll go move you over here. And because there are two sets of enemies, I guess, yep, there it is, right on cue. Mario, Mario. We'll never hit all these enemies with a single attack. No, it's not our final battle. Olivia, you haven't done anything to help me right now. So we have two actions. Uh, this also is dependent on the number of enemies in the groups there are in the game, and it's just pretty pretty easy to latch on to. It's not hard information to learn. Boom and excellent. Nice, thank you, she's so excited. She's so excited. So obviously that used an action, and we have one more remaining. Hooray, we can count. Awesome, guys. All right, next up is the Hell Hammer. Well, the Hammer Slamma. Slamma Hammer. Damn. All right, well, that was a great. Ooh. Yep, almost unstoppable. And we can take out a ton of enemies. Always check your remaining actions before you choose your attacks. So it's kind of interesting that they do put a timer on there because that places an almost 
unnecessary level of stress to the fight because some of the the turns and the spins you have to do with the ring combat is actually kind of tricky sometimes believe it or not it's it's really kind of unique and it's fun just not early on later on when it gets much more involved in boss fights i actually kind of dig them they're unique and uh it's it's really kind of a departure of the game that you wouldn't expect you wouldn't believe the restorative power the spring has wrinkles gone dry spots wet it's amazing yeah i don't know if i want my dry spots wet but anyways, let's grab this for our second collectible. The mushroom. Sweet. That is something I can certainly appreciate. Now, for the main reason why we came over here. Let's go ahead and do something with this water, huh? Yeah, it's the spring that we saw before. You don't say. I feel calmer somehow just standing near it. Also, just looking in, there's a ton of garbage in there. I wonder what that's about. <laughs> Yeah, all right, so starting us off, let's go throw the mushroom in there. Gee, I wonder what this will do. Let's soak it in some water. And immediately, as one would expect, it pops out a brand new one. Sweet. Thank you. You got it. And luckily for us, if you try to bring it up, it does not take up multiple spots because it's its own independent slot. So that's good. I hate it when games do that. It's just unnecessary burden and... Yeah, I don't like scrolling through things. I like numbers, okay? <laughs> so, of course, we're going to throw a fire flower in there and be bestowed with a brand new one. Hello, Mr. Fire Flower. I will take you. Yes, so he uses to throw fireballs at enemies in a straight line. That's pretty cool. And last but not least, yes, let's put in the most important of them all, a seed. Could this perhaps be the soul seed that we were searching for? It's kind of hard to tell. I'm not entirely sure. But, um, it's the only one that we found before. So there we have it. A fully revitalized soul seed. Give it to old Grand Sappy. All right. Oh, no. Did you hear that? I think it might have been old Grand Sappy crying out. Oh, he seemed pretty feeble. Oh, but that was no feeble. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do you think he's okay? I don't know, that sounded like a pretty far cry for help. I don't know about you guys. Everyone's hoping he's okay. Seems like the communication system around here could probably leave a little bit to be desired. Yeah. Nope, no time to stop the whacked flowers. I'm sorry, I'm going. I'm going as fast as I can. But first, let me fill it up. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to go and save real quick. Uh, something that annoys me about this whole process of collecting confetti is that when you defeat an enemy and coins come out, the coins don't fly to you, but the confetti does. And the fact that you just have to still run around for the coins is just like, uh, not a big fan of that. But anyways, oh no. What have they done to him? Look at that in the background. How dare you? How dare you? Oh dear. Whatever shall we do? Oh yeah, that is must be pretty gruesome for them. He's a shell of himself, hollowed out like some wood shop project gone wrong. <gasps> I can't believe those horrible things ganged up on old Grand Sappy and did this to him. They deserve to be chipped. Yeah. Grand Sappy, can you hear us? This doesn't look good. He was already creaky, now he's downright hollowed out. Oh, wait a minute. I think we can solve this problem. Yeah. Maybe that means you can fix him with confetti. Yeah, I don't know. That seems pretty uh, extreme. I don't. Uh, this is not damage that can be repaired. We can give it a shot. Surprise! It's okay! It's a girl! Alright, I'll do one more. There you go. Happy. Good as new. Just ten times more fabulous. <laughs> Felt like some rapscallion was whittling me down again. Did I just dream it? I suppose it's just memory going down here. Aw, oh, nuts. Grand Sappy's back, y'all. Oh, yeah. Mustache, check. Creepy eyebrows, check. It's Grand Sappy, all right. I'm glad that those are his defining features. <laughs> yeah, it's better than being a shell of a shell. We've got a precious shell at the back. Yep. He could still be more energetic somehow. Well, we have something in our pocket that I think he'll like. So, uh, Grand Sappy, if I could do the honors, um, here, let me just throw it in one of your eye holes, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Take the soul seed. I bestow it upon you. Is it working? How do you feel? 
Oh, it's doing something. Watch out. I was not expecting that. That was the best dance number in a Paper Mario game yet. Well, almost. Yeah, looking good, Grand Sappy. Looking about a thousand years younger. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's see. It was all it took. Tighten up my timbers and put the funk back in my trunk. I'm young again. So you don't need to keep y'all waiting any longer unless you want to run through that song and dance again. Shrubs open up for my main mustache. There's a lady here. I don't know why his accent is continually just evolving. But there we have it. Great. Now we can keep making our way back to Peach's castle. Hooray! Who would have guessed that we just had to go through three bushes <laughs> to escape? Yep. Bye for now. Glad we could be of service. Wow, we just saved the Whispering Wood. Neat! Thanks for everything, little ones. Good luck out there. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. He's Sweet Sap Loggins. He is Grand Sappy No More. Funkiest trunk in these woods. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like the old days again. So everything just got a hell of a lot jollier here. And I say that's a pretty good stopping point, all things considered. Next time on Paper Mario, the Origami King, we are going to be exploring the path uh, back towards Peach's Castle a little bit. We'll be indulging in some uh, toe talk for a bit. And uh, before we end things off, Oh, one of those seats. Oh, that's one of those. Yeah, it was showing off, and it worked too. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be a great time for all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I, so far, uh, have been looking forward to recording more of this, so we're just going to keep going. And uh, life's going to be good for us. But we are going to take one last visit with the tree that I said we would. Did you hear that song? It's going to be in my head forever. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that would be rough, wouldn't it? It's not too much to ask. Could I have your hat's autograph? Sure, sure, buddy. <laughs> yeah, no one here. It just, it's weird how static this world seems, despite the fact that everyone has such jolly music around them. Yeah, I hope we get more paper visitors like you. So everyone, again, will have different text because we saved old Grand Zappy. Can't see him. Can you describe him to me? Maybe. But first and last, you, you came all the way back to talk to me again. So thoughtful. I bet you call your parents all the time. Wow, just go ahead and hit it right where it hurts, pal. Yeah, so the Origami King, next time uh, will probably be more combat, probably be some toad hunting, and probably going to be some frustration in finding some of those invisible question blocks. So join me, and I hope to see you guys there. All right, take care.